Hi friends and welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you how I upcycled an old coffee can and turned it into something that I don't mind displaying around my home. So we always buy the same coffee from Aldi and we always buy the same can of it. So I just was like, instead of having this can living on our counter looking like this, I have an idea. So I took the paper off of the can and if you wanted to you could take some sandpaper and sand the back of it. I wasn't super concerned about it so what I did was just kind of peel um, any of the paper that was really um, like peeling I just kind of pulled it off and kind of made it as flat as I possibly could but that's going to be the back of my can so I wasn't super concerned about it so then I took a bag and some painters tape and stuck the bag all the way around the inside of the can because obviously we're not going to want to spray paint inside of our coffee can where we're going to put coffee so I am gonna spray this upside down but I really wanted to make sure that no paint was going to get inside anywhere my food was going to touch so I just stuck this bag in and used painter tape to tape all around the inside of the can I'm using my favorite spray paint for this project, Heirloom White Rust-Oleum, and I used this color for almost everything. I just really like that it's not a super bright white, it's an antique kind of white, but I, I use it for everything. So I'm spray painting everything outside in quick burst all the way around, and I do two coats of this. I am going to use my Silhouette Cameo to create a decal for this, so I'm just measuring the front of my coffee can and decide to make my decal about 5 inches across. You could also paint the word coffee on your coffee can, you could use a chalk label, you could use stickers, so if you don't have a Silhouette Cameo, you can still do this project. I just use my Cameo to cut out the word coffee. The font is the skinny and I bolded it because whenever I use that font I just prefer bolding it. And I am using some clear contact paper that is from the Dollar Tree as my transfer tape and I always use this as my transfer tape. I love it, I don't have any problems and a whole roll of it is just a dollar. I'm using the hinge method to apply this decal to the can. The hinge method really helps you apply things to curved surfaces. So here's just like a, a quick way how I do it. I am going to make a more in-depth video of how I use the hinge method to put decals on curved surfaces like this coffee can. And then I'm just carefully lifting up that transfer tape. You do want to be careful because this is spray painted that you're not pulling up the spray paint along with your transfer paper. So I was really careful just to kind of try and push my letters down and not any excessive pushing on the transfer tape. Since this is contact paper, it's not super, super sticky. So I didn't have 
a big problem. I just wanted to warn you to be careful when you are removing your transfer tape. If you're using stickers or painting, obviously that's not going to be a problem. So um, just be gentle. <laughs> And there you go, the decal is all on. So I'm just going to remove the tape and the bag from the inside of the coffee can. And then I can go ahead and fill it back up with my coffee. I love this idea because obviously it's always going to be the same amount of coffee and it's always going to fit in the exact same can it comes in. So I didn't have to buy it. It wasn't like a canister I had to buy and I know my coffee is always gonna fit in there. So. I, don't, I just was really proud of myself with this one guys so there's the before and here's the after and I can leave this next to my coffee pot like it looks nice it looks pretty it's farmhousey and Ray Dunn inspired and I just love it so much thanks so much for watching guys as always you can find more from us here make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments how do you like your coffee bye guys